All right, what's up guys? I'm taking some clients out for some showings, but it's not just any client. Guess who's in town? Oh, we got JD. JD, the Airbnb king from Philly, and we're in Waikiki right now. We're gonna show him a couple units because he's thinking about buying some units, putting them on Airbnb. So I'm thinking like, you're in Philly, right. you're, you travel back and forth to Hawaii. Why are you thinking of you know buying Airbnb units here instead of Philly? This is more of a vacation market. So yeah. traditionally people think about here uh, versus the urban setting. So get a little diversification. It's Hawaii, uh, yeah. It's Hawaii, <laughs> why would you not? It's, it's got that coolness factor. But also there are people who are not from Philly and mm. don't understand Philly. Gotcha. So this caters to that market of people who aren't from there and are from here and, and understand how sick Hawaii is. What are your plans for managing Airbnb here? So I want to get into the market. I want to do whatever I can to just start accumulating units here and just prove uh, the concepts and show that I know how to manage. Um, it's a lot easier for people from here and nearby to understand uh, the Hawaii market. So if I can get a couple units here, um, show them what's going on here, and then maybe have them dabble in Philly a little bit, have some of my Philly investors dabble in Hawaii a little bit, and just kind of get one big happy family on the East Coast and the Gold Coast. <laughs> oh, and look who just showed up. Hey. hey, you might recognize Alex. He's my partner on my first flip. So he's gonna check out some Airbnb properties too. We're here for today. Let's check it out. So you're thinking about buying Airbnb in Alex? Uh, yes, sir. How many? Well, I wanted to get five by the end of the year. Let's go. Uh, how much was this one listed at? Uh, let's check. 419. Okay. Yeah, I figured it'd be a little more since it's the one, the traditional one bed. All this space, this thing's huge. Wow. It's a pretty good size. Yeah. So for this is like I guess a one bedroom? Yeah. So how much do you think this could get like oh my. Probably like four and a half to five thousand gross. Four gross. Okay. <laughs> yeah, the ones that they have listed right now. Yeah, every week we want to sleep in this. <laughs> for sure. A lot of the mistakes that I see in all the listings are like the furniture is just trash everywhere. Um, this one's not that bad. This one's pretty decent. But everything looks like straight Ikea or like Facebook Marketplace. Yeah. Like, <laughs> in Hawaii. I tried to pay zero dollars to get this stuff. In Hawaii, right? Or in Hawaii. Yeah. 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 So all the Hawaii every week is like their shit is trash. That's the most important part. Because if you can make the pictures look fire, then building doesn't really matter. Wait, do you think sure. that this furniture is not good for everything? <laughs> This isn't good for Airbnb. Hold <laughs> out chair. You mean this miscolored couch is not good for Airbnb? Leather couch hits. White and green couches are good, huh? I prefer black. Yeah. I feel like if you made this couch like a pull-out couch into a bed, you could like fit more people. It's a must. Yeah. Pull-out couch is a must. So then like more people in. Higher ROI. The more heads and beds, the more. More heads and beds. There's no HOA in Philly. There really aren't HOAs. Oh. Like that's not really a thing. And when there are, like people will throw their hands in the air for like $150 a month. Oh my god. My HOA is 800. How much? 888. For your HOA? Yeah. Dude, mine's a thousand. <laughs> this is more of what I was expecting. Yeah. <laughs> you like this better than the other one? Uh, depends. What's the price? Oh, this is a straight up studio. This is a studio, yeah. yeah. This is 265. And it comes furnished? 265, okay. Yeah, yeah, they all come furnished. Oh, they do? Okay. Yeah. Like, what would you uh, keep here? And what would you make me take? We'd keep the bed. Yeah. We'd probably keep the couch. Yeah, that's nice. Stools are fine. The fridge is fine. Everything else would probably go. You want new dressers, new TV. The shelves are cool. <laughs> That's a dish dryer. Oh. This place is honestly it's finished better than I thought it would be. Yeah. The bathroom's finished a little better. So I have to come up. Oh. So I'm wearing this paper some hard one. This unit, your market is like the lower, it's kind of like the lower tier. Mm -hmm. Like people who want like a budget, but also. Spot in Hawaii. 
they just want to know that the host is good because our strategy is going to be like be the best host like best reviews quickest responses leave like little stuff out for them just kind of be hospitable they, they don't really care about the floors like if they wanted nicer floors they're going to pay like 200 a night versus we're going for like 120 140 mm. so that's that's more of our market so for a studio how much do you think this would be a night? About 120. 120. Yeah, this sh this should be 120, and if you upgrade it a little bit, get like a better TV, um, we can probably push 129, 130. Cool. Would you take out the popcorn ceiling? How much do you think that would cost? How much was yours? Yeah, I, I had a professional do it. Um, um, my unit's like 700 square feet, so you can do the math on that. It was, it was like 20 grand. 20 grand. You just spray it with water and scrape it off. So we probably just leave it then. Yeah, just people think it's some people think it's ugly. It's nice. Besides um, the tub, that tub, that part of the tub is not. Yeah, maybe a new tub, but but this part is nice. Tubs are like two hundred bucks. And maybe take out this. Oh uh, yeah, that's ugly. Can leave this. Leave this. Leave the toilet. In the game that we play, it's all about how many people you can sleep. So a studio that sleeps four is a place that sleeps four. That's all that matters. Beds and heads. Beds and heads. <laughs> this, is like a, this is a typical hotel room. Yeah. Oh, it's a one bed. Oh, Thank you. Huge. huge. This is a one bedroom. But no couch. <laughs> yeah, super on the utilize the main space. This is 340. 340? Yeah. Look at all this room for activities, though. <laughs> We could do karate. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it seems like a lot of these units are just getting neglected, like for little things, like quick return items. Two bed play is really interesting. Mm. Versus like just a regular queen. Yeah, I think the two twin bed no go. I but, don't. I just don't see what market you're trying to cater to. Yeah, like. Like, me and you are trying to crash here. Yeah. Like, if two homies, two, if two homies, homies go to Hawaii, this would be good. I'd rather one of us just get a queen bed and the other one on the couch. <laughs> you guys don't want to cuddle on the, the queen bed? <laughs> two twins, nobody wins, huh? Two twins, <laughs> nobody wins. What was that? Two twins and nobody wins. <laughs> And then a pull out couch over here. That puts you at like five people. Yeah. And five people, if you're <laughs> you only need like one twenty a night to profit, that's less than twenty five dollars each. That's crazy. So here, if you just run the same math, dude, if you get five, this should be two hundred a night all day long. Yeah. So Which one do you like the best today? Uh, well, I feel like this has the most potential because the other one was at four, four sixty. Yeah. Right. Four ten. Yeah. This is three sixty. Last one was two. 340, last one was 265. This is 340? Yeah. And then I like this the best, because we don't need to put 70,000 of renovation into it. So if, if they're much higher on these, then that studio might be the win. Actual like potential, we're pushing like 1,500 a month per unit, which is nuts. Like that's, yeah. that's cash flow. That's what we're here for. Yeah. Cash flow, baby. <laughs> All right, so that was Island Colony. What do you guys think? It was a win. It impressed. It's definitely impressed. All right. Now we're going to head to a different building. So we'll see you guys right over there. It's like this. All right. I think this looks so much better, dude. Yeah? This is like a real hotel. Yeah. It is, yeah. Pretty much. That last place we walked into that had the shelves and then a million dressers, yeah. it's just such overkill. Like, you need to just mount a TV and leave it, leave it go. Like the other one feels like, oh yes, this is someone's condo. I'm renting it on vacation. This is actually like, oh, this is a hotel. I don't think this building felt as good aesthetically from the outside. Yeah, yeah. it's like the, the beginning of like Kia tour. Yeah, but it just did a lot of higher traffic. It's like a red lobster down there. Sold. <laughs> I hop, red lobster. Oh, and the Outback. This is gourmet living over here. <laughs> And a fridge, microwave. So that's the other thing with, with 
this unit and the last ones we looked at, they're not really prompt to be like month to month rentals or to live in because they don't have kitchens. Gotcha. Like with the kitchenette, like this just screams short term rental and like let's take some vacation money. Yeah. So premium higher price then? I think you can get a premium on that. As crazy as that sounds, like the less kitchen, the more premium you're gonna get. Oh, look at that, dude. Got beach chairs and a beach top. Beach umbrella. Ooh, are these Tommy Bahama? How? Yeah, there's a Tommy Bahama one. Tommy Bahama. I like the, the layout better. Cause it, this doesn't need any work, and the furniture is where it needs to be. Like this is this is ready. We could have this thing up and running like tomorrow if we wanted to. Yeah. The location, I like the location better. So if we could just kind of copy this design over into the other one, that'd be sick. Yeah. All we need in here is fake plants. Ask your mom, ask your sister. Put a palm tree right there. <laughs> Put a palm, a palm, Put a palm tree, tree like, right there. <laughs> Take palm tree leaves and then just like yeah. wrap it around. They have outdoor furniture, all that. Yeah, like you don't really need anything else as far as seating in here because you have the eye. Yeah. I was thinking about on the car ride, like the ceilings only matter if you're living there. If you're not living there, you're just there for like five days. Yeah. You don't give a fuck about popcorn. Especially with what we're looking at, it's like there for people who are here and then they're gonna leave the apartment most yeah. of the time. Yeah, especially really in Hawaii. Like, sleep. You don't come to Hawaii to just chill in your room. Do you come to Hawaii to just chill in your room? <laughs> <laughs> I think the only thing they do in their room is like pregame, wherever yeah. they're going to go. So that's kind of what we have to have in mind. It's like, what can we put in here that's sick for the pregame? Speaker. Oh, speaker. That's what I always need. For the pregame. Yes. 